Today we're going to go over the installation of the Breezy Rider onto your Yamaha R1M. First off, of course you have to have the seat off of the bike to make the install. And you're going to pull the uh, Breezy Rider out of the box that it came in. You're just going to undo the uh, strap underneath. You're going to go ahead and untie this, but you want to make sure these, these cords never go into the cushion because they're hard to get back out. So now you're just going to take your seat and set it down, and you're going to try to make sure everything lines up nicely. You want to make sure your front seam lines up with the center front, and your two front corners line up with the two front corners. And then you're going to do the same on the back. You want to make sure that the, the two corners on each corner line up so that your slip knot on the base of this will be in the right place. And then you can lastly make sure that this center seam also lines up the center of the back of your seat. And all of it does, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this a little bit snug before I even flip it over because it makes it easier to make sure everything stays in place. Now on the uh, Yamaha R1M, one of the things you have to be sure of is that this goes underneath this attachment so that your piece that, that locks in here can still lock in there. And you want to make sure that on both sides. Once you're sure that it's over that, it's over all the edges of the seat, you want to go ahead and pull it even tighter. Make a little cross in your cord so you can pull it good and snug. And then you, I'm gonna put a temporary knot in here. And you'll see why it's temporary in a minute. We're just gonna kind of pull this over, get myself a loop in here, and I'm gonna pull this loop through. It helps if you have somebody else to kind of hold things so that you can pull these tight without it coming loose, but we can get that on there. It did come loose a bit because I don't have somebody to hold it, but it's okay, it's gonna stay in place. And then we're just gonna pull this strap through the D-ring, pull it over good and tight, just like this. Making sure that, that it's still centered up front and you're centered on both sides. So now I've got my breezy seat pulled fairly tight. We're gonna wind up pulling it even much tighter. Um, to make sure everything pulls good and snug all the way around. So you want to make sure everything's pulled under good and your seams kind of line up the edge of your seat. And now we're just going to loosen this again so I can tie this good and tight. And then we're going to run one of the ends through the D-ring in your strap. And this is where your, uh, your, your R1M is a little different and it's because you have this V at the back of your seat that we're having to do this. Normally you wouldn't have to do this on most of our seats, but on this one you do. And there's a couple other uh, of the motorcycle seats that have this. And then you're just gonna kind of pull them together. And what that does is, um, what that does is, is pull the V in. So it matches the shape of the seat very nicely. And then we're gonna just tie that good and tight. And again, if you can have somebody hold your cross right there, it helps a ton. So we're gonna have somebody do that. And then we're gonna pull this tight. And once they let go, you've got a perfect fit on your R1M.